In this video, you're going to learn how to add a bonus sprite, which will make Pac-Man move faster for a limited period of time when he eats that special icon. Our games are really getting there now. Uh, we've got the dots on the screen that Pac-Man can eat. When he eats all of the dots, we see that we've completed the level. Uh, so some really nice stuff going on. In fact, it's almost sort of quite playable already. We could put a little timer in and we could uh, do challenges to see who could finish it the quickest. Um, but don't worry, we're not going to stop here. We've got a few more things to add. And one of those things is we want to add a bonus sprite so that when Pac-Man touches that bonus sprite, he starts going much faster for 10 seconds or so. So in order to do that, we need to create a new sprite. So we want to go to our paintbrush down here and click on that. And that brings up our sprite editor as we've seen many times before. Uh, now you can choose whatever you would like for this. You could draw it however you want. You could even use one of the built-in sprites that um, are available if you could find one that's suitable. Uh, but I'm going to draw one, I'm going to draw like a lightning bolt because I think that would be quite a nice way uh, to show that um, this is going to make him go faster. So I've selected orange, I've made my line a bit thicker, I've got my line tool and I'm just going to draw a bit of a lightning bolt shape. Okay, and just finish that off and I can fill that, let's fill that with yellow. Lovely, and there's my lightning bolt. Uh, now, it's obviously a bit big, uh, so I would like to make it smaller. So again, I can grab my shrink tool and I can keep clicking until it's small enough. And what I'm going to do is I think I might get rid of this dot and I'm going to place it in there instead of that dot. And notice it's called Sprite 1 and you know how I feel about that. So let's change that to something like Lightning Bonus. So, um, we've got our lightning bolt, uh, we need to add some code, we need to make it do something. So let's go onto the scripts. And what we want to do is make sure that when we're running the game, it's constantly looking out for whether it's touching Pac-Man. And if it does touch Pac-Man, um, I would like it to hide, so it's gone once he's eaten it. Um, I want to increase the score by a thousand points for touching it. And I want to change the speed that Pac-Man works at. So we need to do a few things uh, in order for all of that to happen. Um, but the first one we're going to do is let's start off by giving it that loop that constantly checks if it's touching Pac-Man or not. Now we've got two choices. We could do it when green flag is clicked. Uh, but actually, this bolt of lightning, my sprite, is effectively like another dot. It's going to appear when all the dots appear and it will disappear when all the dots disappear. So on that basis, actually, I'm not going to use when green flag is clicked, but I'm going to use when I receive show dots. And when I receive that, I want to show itself because I may, I may have eaten it and hidden it by now. So we want it to appear. And as well as appearing, we want to, let's have a little look, we want to get a uh, forever loop, okay? And we want to say if, oh, no, we need to put an if inside there as well, sorry. So inside our forever, we're going to be saying if touching, and then we need to scroll down. And this will take a little while because I've made so many dots. If touching Pac-Man, then we want to hide, so it disappears. We want to change the score by, I'm going to say, as I said, 1000. And now I want to do something else. I want to change the speed that Pac-Man is working at. Um, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use a variable that I'm going to call speed, and I'm going to set that variable uh, or change the Pac-Man code so that Pac-Man, instead of moving just two steps, moves however many steps are specified by the value of the speed variable. In order to do that, let's go to our Pac-Man sprite. So we can leave that, we can go to Pac-Man. 
And if you have a look at how Pac-Man moves, Pac-Man is set to move a set number of steps. Um, ordinarily, he moves two steps as he walks around. Um, and that means that every single time this loop runs, it's going to move Pac-Man two steps or two positions forward or in whichever direction he's pointing in. So we can change this and say, actually, instead of it being a fixed number, let's make it a variable number of steps. We're going to create a new variable and I'm going to call this variable speed. And now we see that speed has appeared here. And I'm going to say, instead of moving two steps, I want Pac-Man to move however many steps is specified by the value of the variable speed. So move speed steps. Now the variable speed, we need to give it a value of a number. Otherwise it's just zero and Pac-Man isn't going to move. So we can do set speed, and I'll do this right at the beginning. So when we start the game off, set speed to two. So what this will do is it's going to say the variable speed should hold the value two. So when we move speed steps, Scratch will look inside the variable speed, find that its value is two, and it's a bit like algebra. It will replace the word speed with the number two. So it says move two steps. Uh, so, so far that's actually no different to what we were doing before, but the magic is that now we can go to our lightning bolt and as well as changing score by a thousand, we can set speed to four. So now, if we change the value of speed to four, if we look back in Pac-Man, now when Pac-Man is moving, he's gonna move four steps instead of two. Now we don't want this to be a permanent change, but a temporary one. So after we've set speed to four, Let's grab a control block of a wait, and we're going to wait 10 seconds. And having waited, we set speed back to its original value. Oops, let's click in there, which was two. So what's gonna happen is, when we touch Pac-Man, we hide the little bonus icon, we change the score by a thousand, so we add a thousand onto the score. We set the speed variable that determines how, how many steps Pac-Man takes in one movement. He's gonna change from two to four. Then we wait 10 seconds, and then we can set speed back to two again. And once we've done all of that, we don't actually need to run this script anymore because it's been and gone, so we can stop the script. Okay, so why don't you take a moment to do the same to yours. So you need to, having created your little lightning bolt, you need to add this code to your lightning bolt and importantly you also need to make this change to your Pac-Man. Great stuff. Okay, just a few things I want to do before we go on. Um, Back to the lightning bolt, we've added uh, this listener for when we want to show dots and we're going to show the bolt when we show the dots. The uh, counterpart is missing though, so we need to go to events and when I receive hide dots, we want to hide because it's quite conceivable that we might end up getting to the point where we want to hide everything on the screen and change the background uh, before everything's been eaten. So. Possibly if we had an enemy that killed Pac-Man, we might go to a game over screen. And, um, and if we did that, we'd want to hide everything off the board that hasn't yet been eaten. And that might include this. So we would send the message hide dots and this would hide our lightning bolt. Uh, one other thing as well is that we've got this speed um, variable value sort of display here, uh, which is useful when we're building the game because we can use it to test that things are working as we want them to, but we don't really want it there all the time. So we can go to data, and if you untick speed, it will disappear. Okay, so again, why don't you go and just make those few changes on yours. So you want to change this where it says when I receive hide dots, okay? And you want to untick speed. Fantastic. Okay, so all that remains now is to test what we've done. So if you press the green flag and have a little go, we can see what happens now. So I'm moving Pac-Man around. He's currently going at 
two little movements at the moment every single time that loop runs and if I go and grab my lightning he all of a sudden is going much faster and this should only last for 10 seconds so if I keep playing in a moment he's going to go slow again and that will prove that there we go he's gone slow again so just for 10 seconds he was moving a bit faster and also my score shot up by a thousand when I when I ate the lightning bolt now you could change the 10 seconds to be 30 seconds you could change the um, score to add a million um, it's entirely up to you but essentially what you need to do is make sure that your lightning bolt has some code that is constantly checking to see if it's touching Pac-Man and if it is makes those changes to the score and the speed variables and as long as your Pac-Man has been adjusted so that he moves speed steps then everything should work and you should find you've got a really nice little extra feature in your game whereby you can have a bonus sprite on there that makes Pac-Man go faster and you don't have to just limit yourself to one there's nothing wrong with putting two or three in there it depends entirely on how you want to make your game so that's the end of this video. Uh, the next video, we're gonna learn how to add enemies so that we've got a really big sort of element of challenge to our game.